we don't like flies. And if you want to save this man, you have to defeat the fly. But we don't like flies. But you have to save a person, right? If you want to save this man, you have to defeat the fence fly king. I will tell you all about the fence fly king and why it's so important to make this decision. You can meet the fence fly king just north of green pad above its climate. You can see him hangling from the sea. Hangling? Hangling. <laughs> was hangling, bungling from the ceiling with a man in his mouth that looks a lot like you. Because the fence fly king is in green pot, it does not mean that the fence flies are only in green pot. They are also in forgotten crossroad, but the fence flies are native to green pot. Now you have two options. You can kill the man or you can save the man. If you save the man, you have to defeat the fence fly king. But if you kill him, you get an achievement. So choose wisely. If you have decided to save the man, you can encounter him in game. You can encounter him in the Colosseum of Fools, where he is a boss you have to fight. And you can encounter him in Dirt Mouth, in the house of I don't know how that lady is called. But you can fight him there as a dream warrior. I myself would choose to save this man because not only can you fight the fence fly king, you can also fight the man itself. You can fight him, I think, three times in his dream state. Yes, he has a dream state. And one time in the Colosseum of Fools. I'm quickly going over on how to defeat the fence fly king and after that I'm going over on everything about the fence fly king. To defeat the fence fly king it's quite simple. You just need to jump over him and once he does his summoning scream you just focus the fence flies and then you focus the fence fly king after. Because you first want to have your area cleared. As I was saying, the fence fly king is quite easy. It only has two attacks, the summoning screech and the swipe attack. With the summoning screech attack he summons one or two fence flies on the stage, on the left side or the right side, uh, just the other way around. He can summon, well, two at a time, but he can have up to four on his stage. Now with the swipe attack he comes from the left side of the stage or the right side of the stage and he swipes around so you have to jump over him. Yeah that's it. You can see when he's doing his swipe attack because he will open up his mouth just like with the screech attack. If you did get damage you can easily heal. If he does a swipe attack you just jump over him and instead of attacking him you heal for defeating the fence fly king you get a total of 68 geos or if you have fragile or unbreakable greed i have unbreakable greed you can get 75 geo you can't get any geo from the fence flies he summons with the summoning screech though i hope you can defeat the fence fly king now if you have decided to kill Zoti, I don't know if I said this already, but you can take back your decision when you leave his room, cause you can re-enter it, but you cannot go onto a bench, cause if you go onto a bench, he will be dead, he will be devoured by the fence fly king, and the fence fly king will be gone, it will not be fought. You can fight it in Gotham though, since the Fence like King statue is automatically unlocked, but you can't fight it in game. Thank you for listening to me speak. If you want, you can look at other videos on the channel. And if not, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.